Last thing before we go tonight is a moment that took place on live TV earlier this evening. It's an attempt to illustrate a number that many people have become so inured to, so numb to, a number so big, it's indeed hard to conceptualize. That number is a quarter million dead from the coronavirus. That's what the death toll will be likely in the next 24 to 48 hours. Tonight, our friend Nicole Wallace set to put it into context. Think about that. Quarter of a million people gone. Remember that big, that abstract? It can be difficult to wrap your head around, to visualize. So in an effort to grasp the catastrophic enormity of this pandemic, let's talk about what the number 250,000 looks like. Maybe this will help. 250,000 is greater than the entire population of Richmond, Virginia, by about 20,000 people. If you're more spatially inclined, picture this. So say you wrote the name of an American COVID victim on a post-it note, and then you stuck it at the base of the Statue of Liberty. After that, another post-it note with another name. Repeat that 250,000 times, and you'd go from Lady Liberty's toe to her torch 23 times over. Take it a step further. Let's say we read all of those post-it notes, three seconds a name. We'd be reading names until Wednesday morning, as in next Wednesday, nine days from right now. And if we continued on with our Lives Well Lived segment, one person every day, even on weekends, we'd be reading obituaries until October 22nd in the year 2705. That's more than 680 years. For perspective, going the other way, 680 years in the past, that was a century before Joan of Arc was even born. That's what we're up against. Nicole Wallace and the grim calculus it requires to illustrate the death of a quarter million souls, a quarter million of our fellow citizens. That is our broadcast on this Monday night as we together begin a new week. Our thanks for being here with us. On behalf of all my colleagues at the networks of NBC News, good night.